Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Shining Song Star Nova. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye at the top of the video to watch the previous episodes get caught up. D -d Don't worry, Salsa Chap, but producer son will take good care of you from now on. Producer son, this is something only you're allowed to see. Only me allowed to see? Uh, okay. The Salsa Chan's biggest secret. That's John's biggest secret. Oh. Uh oh. D -d Don't worry, Sasha John. P -p Producer Sam won't tell this to anyone. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Then. P -p -p Please be gentle. It's quite fragile. Uh, oh. Uh, of course, of course. A virginal sigh of apprehension escaped from her lips. Ah, I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Oh dear, Maria is going to be up so upset with me. Oh, sexy times having to happen. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Paintbrush out. Hmm, so slowly I, I don't want to cause a mess. Bone seed from her mouth. Oh, wait, but producer sound, it's so tight. And I can't get it out. Huh. So, it wasn't sexy time. Sammy finally managed to pull out an old cardboard box from her overstuffed closet. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. She plopped it on her coffee table just then Mrs. Shimazaki opened the door bearing a tray of sliced apples. <laughs> the mom just walks in. Ah. Uh, thank you for always take looking after my daughter, producer son. Would you care for some apples? Oh, no, no, it's it's really no trouble at all. Thank you very much. Just then, a 10-year-old kid poked his head into the door frame. Ah, Mom, Onichan brought a man home. He always said this was going to happen. Oof, 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 oof. Sasami, isn't it time to be moving out soon? It's so strange for you to be still living with your parents two years after graduating from high school. You can't even properly bring a man home after going out drinking. What? It's strange to live with their parents two years after graduating from high school. What kind of family? What kind, what kind of family is this? I'm so sorry I have to deal with this daughter of mine, producer son. Oh no. Tommy's face turned a bloody shade of scarlet. Foo foo foo. Ma, I'm sorry for interrupting your time with producer son. Well then, enjoy. Mrs. Shimazaki closed the door, all smiles, much to Sasami's shame. Sasami's eyes were all, were all on the verge of tears on her shoulders were trembling. Your mom's a nice person, eh? She's telling me I'm going to move out after a property debut. She doesn't have to make fun of me as if it's never going to happen. Sasami tossed a cushion into the wall and pounded her fists on the floor in an uncharacteristic temper tantrum. Uh, well, 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 once I'm an idol, I'm not going to get her ticket to any of my lives. Hmm. I couldn't help but laugh. Producer, you're terrible. Sorry, sorry. Though Sasami wasn't always a shy goody two shoes. Anyways, what did you bring me here to show me? Ah, well, here it is. Sasami opened the cardboard box, revealing a treasure trove of idol goods. She, pu she pulled up a rolled up post and run furrowed it. Hey, this wouldn't be... Sure enough, the bright, confident smile of a younger Maria clad in a sexy black bikini graced the poster. Eh, so this was Maria back then, huh? What'd she look like? Yes, this was from six years ago when she first debuted in Quasar. Six years, huh? Looks like quite a bit happened since then. Whoa! That's Maria? Holy moly, that's Maria! Whoa! She has one fine body! What the heck happened to her? Sasami put a DVD into her laptop and started playing a clip of a talk show. This, this is... This is for a talk show? This music? Okay. 
Then we have the newest face on Quasar, Yamamoto Maria, joined by her comrades. Quasar's theme song played as Maria walked out to the stage with much fanfare. Your first debut, huh? You're everyone's go high now, aren't you? Are you senpais treating? Are your senpais treating you all right? Of course, we're all a family in Quasar. Even though we're competitive, we're all girls before rivals. Right, except for that girl on the right that she's like, oh, oh, she's totally wrong because I'm gonna throw her out eventually and roll over her. Oh, I see, I see. One of the other girls sitting beside Maria spoke. Maria Chan's got such a cool image about her. Even though she's the newest member, we think of her as an One Chan. Or maybe the kind of Oni san who would ride around in a motorcycle or a sports car and be in a rock band. The audience members laughed. I recognized her as well. She was a younger Okuda Shiro, who would later become the center of Quasar. By no exaggeration, she was now the queen of Japanese entertainment and perhaps the number one idol in Japan. Even back then, she was one Quasar's poster girls. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm just happy to have this chance to one day be on the same stage with Shiro Senpai. Senpai, but you're older than me. Well, I've always looked up to you, it's no problem. I'll go back in time and be born later so I can properly be your kohai, Shiro Senpai. Ha ha ha! Seems like she's already adjusted to being a junior member. Now then, let's see the exact moment Maria Chan found out she was inducted as the newest member of Quasar. What the hinky dinky? They have no eyes, I'm scared. The show cut to a recording of a row of girls standing at attention. This was Quasar's biannual training induction ceremony. Quasar, the centerpiece of the Japanese in idol industry, a massive 20-member idol group with a training division of over 200 girls, all vying for a coveted spot on the main group. While the trainees believed that induction into the main group guaranteed overnight fame, I knew that was far from the truth. In reality, only about the top 5 most popular members of the group had a reasonable chance of careers in the industry. For the rest, it was a bloody struggle to reach the top or else be replaced by a new face. With so many girls applying for a spot, the accommodation to be a part of Quasar was more akin to a battle royale. Hello, who are you? You scared me. Man took to the podium, I recognized his face. The general manager of Quasar and the heir to Golden Calf, in Calf Productions, a young man named Ko Kamajo. We have come to a decision regarding this year's first trainee induction. There will only be one inductee. The dance atmosphere spiked upon his words. Drum rode as the camera panned over the pale faced trainees, some of whom appeared on the verge of passing out. Rank 20 Kitano Doro to be replaced with trainee number 147 Yamamoto Maria. The camera focused on Maria as a Quasar theme played over the streams of the other girls. The remaining trainees crumpled their bodies, sapped of energy. Some wailed on the floor while others were too exhausted to even croak hoarsely. An equally terrifying scream of horror sounded from where the main members were sitting. Huh. But amongst the horror, Maria stumbled over to the podium, an expression of religious wonder on her face. Oh! He, she's about to cry. Aww. My name is Yamamoto Maria, trainee number 147. You may have prepared a speech for this occasion, however, she ha now she had nothing to say. She could only gasp as tears ran down her face. Oh, look at her face. Look at her. She's so cute. Sexy. I now have been given the new Rob Quasar main member number 20. My fellow trainees, the best of luck in the next trainee induction. Aww. My new senpais. Maria's words broke down between her sobs. However, elation riveted through her tear-soaked face. Without question, this moment was the highest point of Maria's life. I will be in your care from now. Even though I'm unworthy, please don't send me into Quasar. Maria bowed, her tears dripping down onto the floor. Green cut back to the talk show, where now a somber mood had taken a hold. Wait, are they sitting? They are sitting. I thought they were standing before. Oh. Whoops. What a dramatic induction ceremony for Maria-chan. 
My Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu? Makes a similar expression whenever I have to take her to the vet. The image of a terrified looking puppy and a shadow Maria setting the induction appeared beside each other, causing the audience to laugh and the mood to once again lighten. With Shiro's well cued gag, the show continued with the festivities the drama of Maria's induction soon forgotten. Now I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. Things it looks like things went well with Maria back then. But then what will we be shown in the next video? Because it went downhill and now she's with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Maria's Induction. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!